lips. If you have a false Jesus, you have a false spirit and a false gospel. That's what Paul is saying here in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Let's read it again. For he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if you receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, or another gospel, another gospel, another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that right there? Tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your friend, tell your aunt, tell your uncle, tell them all, tell them all, tell them all. Okay? Now, let's go on back to Daniel. That's where I was originally. I know I, I, I go off on a tangent. Daniel 11. Okay. I want you all to pay very close attention to this. Daniel 11. Commentaries will say possibly Antiochus Epiphanes or Antichrist, Rome. It's all the same thing. Whether it's Antiochus Epiphanes, God manifest on earth. That's the so-called white man. Or Antichrist. That's the so-called white man. Watch this. Verse 39. Thus shall he do in the most strongholds with a strange God. So not only did Antiochus Epiphanes take on uh, Gre Greco-Roman gods, watch what it says next, whom he, sh whom he shall acknowledge and increase with glory. Because that's what the white man did. Now, what's the strange God this white man did today? They took on white Jesus, Caesar Bourget. That's what they did. That's what they did. Watch this. And he shall cause them to rule over many, meaning his people, and shall divide the land for gain. Let's read that bottom part again. And shall divide the land for gain, meaning for financial gain. Now think about it. Yes, they did divide the land of Israel. But where did the most gain from? And from what land? They divided up Africa during the Berlin Conference in the late 1800s. They divide. Let's take a look. Take a look. You had the Portuguese, the Spanish, the French, um, the English, the Germans. They divided Africa up for gain. Netherlands. How could I forget Leopold? King Leopold II. They divided Africa up for gain. They did it back then and they're still doing it today. The only difference is now China's involved. China is involved. So remember how I was explaining how Antiochus Epiphanes and um, Antichrist, and these are metaphors for the so-called white man in these last days. Yes, there was an individual named Antiochus or Antiochus Epiphanes. Yes. But when you read the book of Daniel in the latter ends from like 28 down somewhere around there, it goes into symbolism or allegories. Okay, now watch this. I'm going to Ezekiel 28. Ezekiel 28, and I'll start at verse 1. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus. Now, there was a prince of Tyrus. However, this is a metaphor, an allegory, a parable, a similitude for the United States of America. Babylon the Great, watch this. Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, Thus saith the Lord God, Because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a God. Well, didn't Antiochus Epiphanes do that? Yes. He, his epif, uh, Epiphanes means God manifest on earth. Okay. Does America set themselves up as God? These white folks, these Edomites? You don't know? Look for an image of God. Look for an image of the Son of God. Who do you see? You see white folks worldwide. Look for images of angels. Allah Hayyam, Elohim. What do you see? Images of Caucasians. I hope y'all understand. Just read it again. Verse 2. Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, Thus saith the Lord God, Because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a God. I sit in the seat of God, in the midst of the seas, meaning they're everywhere. Yet thou art a man. Yet they're what? Art a man. What kind of man? The white man. And not God, though thou set thine heart as the heart of God. 
Behold, watch this, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. Why? Why is this man today wiser than Daniel? Their technological advancements. Okay, their smartphones, smart TVs, okay, their computer software system. Okay, understand, understand, understand. Their technology, their satellites allows them to see all and practically know all, or so they think. Verse four, with thy wisdom and with thine understanding, meaning with their technology, thou hast gotten the riches. Uh-oh, let's read that again. With thy wisdom and with thine understanding, thou hast gotten the riches and has gotten gold and silver into thy treasures. Woo! By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic. Traffic means trade. That involves their corporations. This is another way to keep Africa poor, through traffic, through trade. Okay, understand, understand, understand. They say the IMF has stepped in and said Africa's money is worthless. But they have gold deposits, diamond deposits, cobalt, zinc. Hmm? What? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Okay, bauxite, all various minerals they got. And they take it at virtually no money. They take from Africa, or I should say it this way, steal from Africa and sell it on the open market worldwide. So let's read that again. By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic hast thou increased thy riches and thine heart is lifted up because of thy riches. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of God. Behold, therefore, I will bring strangers upon thee. This is future prophecy. The terrible of the nations. What does that mean? Terrorists of the nations. And they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom. And they shall defile thy brightness. They shall bring thee down to the pit and thou shalt die the deaths of them that are slain in the midst of the seas. Wilt thou yet say before him that slay of thee, I am a God, and thou shalt be a man. What kind of man? The white man. And no God in the hand of him that slay of thee. See that? Thou shalt die the deaths of the uncircumcised by the hand of strangers. That's NATO. These strangers that is talking about is NATO. Okay, hope y'all understand. For I've spoken it, saith the Lord. Woo! That's some heavy stuff. That's some heavy stuff.